Hello everyone, this is Jackie Williams and in this video I want to share with you the Fresh as a Daisy Sweet and of course make a fun project with you. So the Fresh as a Daisy Sweet features the Cheerful Daisies bundle. You can see we've got stamps and dies of course and the stamps are a two-step stamping so you've got the outline and the fill and then the dies that fit around those images as well as some additional dies with the label and the leaf and um, some other daisies that I'll show you shortly. Then we've also got the embellishments in copper clay, boho blue, and lemon lolly. I also want to point out that the in color enamel dots also work very well with this suite. Although they're not included in the suite, you can purchase them separately. Uh, because this suite features all of the in colors and so you know these tone in very well too and then of course we've got the papers and this is my favorite sheet I just love this idea that this these of course can be cut apart and then are just automatic card fronts and little pieces for your scrapbooking and cards and then you can see that there's each of the prints has more of a solid side and then more of a print side this blue one here is another favorite I just think that one is really pretty all right let's start with our project so I'm going to start with some stamping we'll just jump right in and I have a piece of white that is three and one eighth inch by four and a quarter inch I'm first going to stamp the stems and the leaves that are part of this stamp set and I'm going to use old olive and before I put that away I'm just going to use a blending brush and a bit of old olive here at the bottom just to fill in a little bit there then before I put my flowers on I'm going to just put a few little flecks of crumb cake I think that's enough okay I'm going to set that aside now for my stamping, uh, I'm just going to show you the larger flower. And for this project, I want to use Pretty Peacock, Pool Party, and Lost Lagoon. These three colors I know are going to be ones that I pull out quite a bit. I just think they look really nice together. So I'm going to stamp the outline of the daisy in Lost Lagoon. And then I'll stamp the fill with pool party and I'm just going to lightly stamp that off just so it's not quite as dark. Next I'll use the dies and cut that out and I've also stamped the little half daisy and also the center for the larger daisy. So on this little half daisy I just need to stamp that center and I am using wild wheat. It's actually quite a nice color for a flower center. So I'm going to go ahead and add these to my card. Now this larger flower I'm going to put up on dimensionals and I'm going to first I'm going to cover that little bit of the leaf that I missed and I'm going to intentionally have it come off of the square. I figure that's one of the reasons to die cut not only to add dimension but so that uh, your images don't have to be contained with any, within any particular shape. Now this second die though, I'm going to put that one down flat. You could put it up on dimensionals if you want. I just like the look of having one higher and one lower. And that one, I positioned it so it's not really going off the edge, but just a little bit. And then using the Pretty Peacock, I'm going to stamp the You Made My Day. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put that on a Pretty Peacock mat. I do like these uh, blues, these kind of greeny blues with that yellowy green. I like that combination. Next, I'm gonna use the Lost Lagoon ribbon. I really like this ribbon. It's got some white running through it as well. So it's kind of got a vintagey look, but it's not too grungy. And it's also not shiny. So that makes it just a little bit more versatile. Well, in my opinion, I'm just gonna add a bit of stamp and seal there. Also it's cotton, so it's soft, which does just make it a little easier to tie. Okay, I think before I tie that bow, I'll go ahead and put my card together. 
So I have a crumb cake base that is 11 by four and an eighth. And then I've just cut a crumb cake card front that I've embossed with the exposed brick folder. You could do use the polka dot folder if you want something a little more um, cheerful. And this piece is four by five and three eighths. And actually before I put that on, I'm going to add just a couple of little strips of vellum just here to give a little border top and bottom. And this is a good way to use up scraps as well. Okay, then I'm gonna put this piece with dimensionals over the top there. Now I'll use the second piece of ribbon, tuck that underneath the that flat piece that we have and then just tie a bow. And I, a lot of times, like to add a bit of linen thread to my projects. I love the linen thread and use lots of it. And I'm just gonna tie that right around the knot of this bow and just tie a second one. This also just brings those colors through. Next, we'll just add a stamped piece that's matted on Pretty Peacock to the inside of the card. You could add more words, of course, if you wanted to in there. And then the last thing is I want to add some embellishments. And these ombre matte decorative dots, uh, this color and this color match actually quite well. But I think I prefer the brushed brass butterflies. Um, I like adding the gold, just a little bit of something metallic and also bringing that crumb cake sort of color through. And there is our finished project using the Cheerful Daisy bundle. Just wanted to also show you, this is the card that inspired the sample that I've made for you today. And this one was a swap actually from the recent grand vacation trip we had in Norway. And uh, this, was, this one was originally made by Denise Cox. And I really liked her layout and her concept. So I just changed it up a little, obviously changed colors and then just changed, you know, the words and dimensional the flowers. But I did like her idea. And I have some other samples to share with you. Now, these ones are all swaps from the trip to Norway made by various designers. So these ones showcase more of the papers and these ones. And this one I thought was quite special. Um, this demonstrator, Marcy Bezecker, I think is how you say her name, used the distressed gold paper in there and then also took the time to stamp up the envelope. So those are all quite nice. Also wanted to show you that some of them use the stamps with the dies to cut out. This one uses the stamps and dies, but not the outline. And this one uses just the dies. I wanted to show you quickly the dies. So this one comes as all three together in the die set. And then there's also these outline dies that fit around the stamps, but they also, as you can see, fit behind these daisies. Now you might pick different colors than these, for example, but I wanted something with some contrast so you could see them easily on the video. And then in addition, there is another um, die layer that sits over the top and adds more detail. And then these ones fit that one too. You can see all the layers. Now you can use the layers individually. You can just use two layers. You could use the dies with the stamps. So there's lots and lots of possibilities with these dies. I just wanna show you a few more samples. These are ones that I have made. So this one's using that sheet that I spoke about where they cut apart into card fronts. And I just really like this color combination, a nice warm daisy card. And then these ones, I've actually done a video with this one as well, if you wanna look on my past video. So this one uses just the stamps and created like a one sheet wonder type of a project where I stamped up the whole sheet and then cut it apart. And this project is actually part of the Fresh as a Daisy video class that I have on offers. There's 12 projects included, and this is one of the 12. 
And for this one, I have used two layers of the dies, but you'll also note that the die or the uh, daisies have been separated. So they're just joined by a little piece here and you can easily just snip them apart so that you can use them as individual daisies or rearrange them or keep them all together as you wish. And then same thing with this one. Um, I just separated the three so that I could arrange them differently. And then this project, I just used the large daisy and the bottom two layers. And, but I didn't want to um, not use the other two daisies, so I made a second card using the smaller daisies with the same technique. So there you are. I hope that gives you some inspiration with the Fresh as a Daisy Suite. Please leave me a comment. Share this video with your friends and of course subscribe. This is Jackie Williams and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.